Hello everyone, uh, myself Pavani. I am working as an assistant professor in CSE AML department at MLR on Stop Technology. Today I would like to give a session on machine translation. In previous video we discussed about natural language generation and now we move to machine translation. Uh, what is the meaning of machine translation? That means conversion of the one language to another language, translation between one language to another language. Today's overview is uh, uh, about what about interaction, about machine translation. What are the problems you are facing in machine translation and characteristics of Indian languages and translation involving in Indian languages. These are the topics we will cover this session. Coming to introduction. So first of, first of all, what is a machine translate? It is a process of using AI to automatically translate text from one language to another language without human involvement. There is no involvement, uh, there is no human involve involvement. Uh, it automatically translates one language to another language, that is Telugu to English, English to Hindi or English to Telugu, uh, some uh, other language, Tamil, like this, okay, Sanskrit. This is a, some evaluation diagram. Machine this is a machine translation system we are using in natural language processing, artificial intelligence, some stats like this uh, machine translation system it automatically translate the one language to another language without uh, uh, interaction of the human. Suppose uh, the human says hello, it automatically translates to Hindi, Namaste and Korean language. Hello, this is the uh, main idea of the machine translation system. There are various types of uh, machine translation systems are there. First one direct machine translation, role based machine translation and corpus based machine translation and knowledge based machine translation. You know, the four types is very very important machine translation techniques uh, in, in this uh, machine translation topic. Uh, later we will discuss uh, uh, one by one what is the meaning of direct machine translation, what is the meaning of rule based and corpus based knowledge based uh, each and everyone. So it is enable communication between the people speaking different languages and help spread information by over overcoming the language barriers. That means it helps to the people. Uh, they, uh, some people are uh, speaking in Telugu language. They don't know English. It automatically translates the uh, some English to Telugu language. Okay. So MT machine translate up ex explores Indian languages features and translation strategies. It explores the uh, some features of the Indian language and also strategies of the uh, in translation. So coming to the problems in machine translation, there are some problems we are facing uh, whenever translating one language to another language. Uh, so first one is word order. That means different lang languages flow different word order. That means in Telugu we flow some word order. In English we have to follow some syntactic grammar rules. In Hindi uh, some some word orders and Telugu and Sanskrit also some borders. So different different language, different different borders will follow. So that means subject SVO, subject SOV. So ob subject, object, verb, SVO, subject, object, verb. We have to follow like this, right? I see examples of the Sangi song. In the language Hindu is Hindi is SOV. English is SVO. Right? In English we follow SVO. In Hindi we follow SOV, that means Telugu we have to follow SOV, subject, object, verb in English, subject, verb, object. See the example, Savita, Savita ni ke gana gaya, subject, object, verb, like this, Savita ni e gana gaya, right, next. Here, in word order, uh, direct word by word translation does not work, that means word by word. This is a Savita one word, right? Sang one word, song one word, word. In this, what is the problem we are facing in border is direct word by word translation does not. What problem we understand? It must record word orders appropriately to maintain the meaning. That means we have to reorder the words to maintain the meaning of the particular sentence. That means compulsory there is a change, uh, change is needed in a sentence, right? Next, second one is word sense. So, what is the meaning of word sense? Words can have multiple meanings based on the context. So, we have number of words, number of words, we have number of multiple meanings, right? So, for example, see here, English word bank, right? Here, bank is a financial institute or river bank. So, so many meanings will come back. Sentence, 
he sat by the bank he sat by the bank means the machine transaction we transit wrongly if that is not understand the context because uh, he sat by the bank okay so wrong translation may confuse the it means creates the ambiguity to the to the mission so machine translation must determine the correct sense of the word based on the context this is the one of the drawback we face in the word sense in machine translation right third one pronoun resolution so what is the meaning of pronoun resolution right we we previous in previous videos we discuss resolution what is the meaning of resolution what is the meaning of ana for resolution tata for resolution right uh, let's uh, just go to the video and see the what is the meaning of resolution there are different types of resolutions are there so here come to here what is the meaning of pronoun resolution here only we are talking about the pronoun right the machine translation often fail to figure out the what pronouns so in a sentence it is fail to uh, see the what is a pronoun in a sentence it means he she it refer to this is a one problem we are facing in a machine translation see the example ravi met arjun he was angry so here who is ravi and who is arjun so this is the confusion what is a pronoun here pronoun is he means ravi or arjun so what is the meaning this is about the pronoun resolution this is a problem we are facing in a machine translation right next see this uh, ana for resolution kata for resolution previous video right next go to the fourth one idioms this is a very very important uh, drawback we are facing in machine translation so idiom what is the meaning of here idiom idioms are the phrases we whose meanings cannot be translated word by word so see the example here he kicked the bucket what is the meaning of here he kicked means we feel like it he died like that right so literal hindi translation usne balti ko mara right make no sense this is this type of sent there is no sense in the sentence called as idiom means we cannot translate that that word that is called as idiom must translate to their equivalent meaning not word for word this is all about idioms so pronoun resolution idioms and word order word sense these are very very important points we are facing in a machine translation approach right so next one ambiguity ambiguity is a evergreen problem in natural language processing so ambiguity means creates the confusion so sometimes sentences can interpreted interpreted in multiple ways that means it creates the confusion to the to the people so sentence the man see the sentence the man saw the girl with the telescope here what is the possible meaning the man used his telescope to see the girl the girl had a telescope and the man saw her both are same possible meanings but there is a confusion between the sentences right the system cannot resolve the prepositional phrase ambiguity this is, this phrase is called as a prepositional phrase it will not translate the sentences in correctly so this problem in in ambiguity here we are facing a problem prepositional pro phrase problem we are facing right let's see the characteristics of indian language in previous video uh, we discussed indian language characteristics of indian language in first in, uh, in one we discussed right here let's we discuss in brief so indian language belongs to four major families coming to the first one indo aryan come to english uh, hindi Uh, Bangla, Punjabi, etc. Like this, uh, Dravidian, Tamil, Telugu, Sanskrit, like this, Austro-Asian, next Tibetan, Krumsvi. Okay, these are the four families in our Indian languages, right? Coming to first one, S O V, subject verb word order. That means Indian language follows the subject verb word order in a default order. Coming to second one, free word order. Words, free word order. It in the self meaning is there. Words can move freely without changing the sentence's meaning. That means we can move one one word to another word. We can easily move free, freely. We can move without changing the meaning of the sentence. This is a mandatory one. Without there is no changing of the meaning. Right. So meaning is shown the. through inflections what is the here meaning of inflection inflection means form to change the form that means gender sense 
like these are the call, called or comes under inflections genders frame uh, tense sense like rich morphology is what is a morphology what here what is a morphology man means but we have to follow the some morphological grammar rules right words can change based on the gender and the number that means words are changed based on the a particular sentence morphological meaning here complex predicates fourth one here complex predicates means what is the meaning of complex predicates a verb combines with an objective or noun to form a complex predicate see the example sabha a gai so sabha arrived it means sabha is came right so use of next fifth one use of post positions instead of prepositions like in english we are using the post position that means after prepositions come after the object here bazare is in bengali verb com complexes here uh, next one verb complexes sequence of verbs with auxiliaries right provide information tense modality and aspect based on the verb uh, these are the one of the characteristics in indian languages next gender most indian languages have two genders right next adjective agreement adjectives change their gender acha ladka hai versus acha ladki hai this is the some adjectives this is already um, in brief way we discussed in previous video in first in one uh, go through that video and next pronouns unlike english indian language often used they have no gender in pronouns right these are all some characteristics of the indian languages we have to follow these rules and regulations right next coming to the uh, very important one translation of involving indian languages there are so many translation tools out there for translating one language to another language this is the first one anglo bharati this is a rule based machine translation approach it is used in a pseudo interlingua that means an intermediate interpretation to translate from english to indian languages this anglavarti is used to translate the english to indian languages some indian languages are some telugu sanskrit like this right we can translate from english to indian languages here see the example where is the railway station some anglavarti translate hindu railway station kaha hai this is the some translate after translation of the sentence this is useful for the tourist uh, tourism people next uh, next one second one shakti see the shakti how is shakti tool will uh, useful to translate the language one language to another language a system for english sentence analysis transform grammar from english to hindi hindi sentence generation it is mainly used for the hindi uh, whenever we translate one language and that that means telugu to hindi or english to hindi the shakti will help uh, help well us okay a student reads an article what water is essential for life pani jeevan ke liye aavashyak hai okay this is the hindi meaning of the uh, water is essential for the life sentence right so it is helpful in educational tools right so next third one matra so what is the meaning of matra so matra is a english to indian language mainly to hindi so so many translation tools are mainly focus on hindi and also english right here in government service website if someone inputs please fill the application form how it will translate into the hindi kripya avadan patre bare okay this is the some hindi meaning of the translation of the english to hindi matra right help make all in uh, some online services accessible to the native languages this is the online application services right next mantra machine assisted translation tool translation tool it translate english to hindi hindi to english hindi to bengali no expected to gujarati telugu etc so this is the drawback in mantra it will not translate the telugu language right uh, so it will also translate telugu also snow only expanded right no only expanded to gujarati and telugu etc so previously english to hindi hindi to english and hindi to bengali now we translated to the telugu telugu gujarati and some other languages like see the example crop insurance is available for wheat and rice so like uh, in telugu we translated into some sentence right 
லெக்ஸ் லாஸ்வன் அன்சா இருக்காம் a project from it is a project from iit kanpur nanga university focusing on making information in one language to accessible in another language see the example dengue is a mosquito born disease that causes the fever and pain it translate into telugu language that means what is the here main purpose of machine translation how the language is translated from one language to another language which type of tools we are using this is the main idea behind the machine translation next video we will discuss about the machine translation approaches role based approaches right so in today's session we discussed about the what is the introduction to the machine translation introduction to the machine translation and next different types of problems we are facing in machine translation and cat system of machine translation and uh, cat system of indian languages these are the top three covered in this session thank you